I see something long absent in the sunken faces of passers-by. A glimmer of hope. Hello, everyone. Science Viking here, and it's time to return to Darkest Dungeon. Let me see. Let's sort by class. I want to see something. So, our only bounty hunter is level 3. Well, we have a bounty hunter that's level 3, and then two bounty hunters that are level 1 and 0, respectively. We have one champion that we, uh, we have a level 5 occultist. So, sorting by class... Having people currently in the party kind of confuses the system when you try to sort by class. We have one hound master who's still who is we have a hound master who's level six and a hound master who's level five who's also being treated for a disease. We have two champion level Arab lists. So okay, I think I know what I want to do now. And with thirteen thousand gold in the bank, I am gonna embark on a mission. And I can't bring all of these people on a mission together, so let's train Russell. And who else can we bring with him? Let's bring Monsell. Go back to being sorted by level. And who else? So Monsell should be in position three. And we're gonna need a main healer, so Brickaville can be in position four. And now we just need another person to go in position two. Yeah, placing a grave robber in position 2 is a little risky, but I think we can get away with it. And if I complete this mission, I can get the Lock of Fury. That could be very helpful. Now I just need to equip everyone. Go through the ritual and equip all trinkets. Sort my character class. The Evasion Incense could be good, and you're also getting the Ancestor Scroll. Let me also quick make sure of something. Yeah, the abilities I need from you are fully upgraded. Now for you. You're going to use the uh, Fuseman's Matchstick and... Can I give you to well, what do I have that's specific to the highway? I'll further boost ranged skills. Now the grave robber. I go with the raider's talisman. And I'll give you the ancestor. Uh, I'll give you the ancestor's pen for a reason I'll get to in a moment, which is that Russell is going to be the one who's using the ancestor's portrait which means that he only has one slot for a trinket to actually increase his effectiveness, and that is going to be Wolf's Tassel. Yeah, I'm trying to power level the Bounty Hunter. Right. And... I'm going to trade Uppercut for Marked for Death, and uh, I'll leave it at that for now. Oh, he can't use Flashbang in position 1. I'll trade that for Come Hither. Okay, and if we succeed at this, in addition to the Lock of Fury, we'll get fresh air in the tunnels. That could be helpful. Need some shovels. Plenty of groceries. Though, this is the dungeon that has the meat wagons. And the meat provisioners, too. And the holy water. And plenty of bandages and plenty of anti-venom because the enemies here like to inflict bleed and blight. Okay, I 
Let's say we're ready. Which means I've probably forgotten something, and I'm fairly certain that something is torches now that I think about it. Yep. The swine draw power Again. from their horrid markings and crude idols. Tear them down. Yep, I forgot the torches again. I knew I was gonna forget something, and apparently that something is torches. That's just become my gimmick at this point. Let's see, which do I want to take out first? Um, I've got damage both. And the debuff could be helpful. So... Now I actually have to decide which one do I want to take out first. Um, I don't want to be hit by pig spear, so I'm going to attempt to move the Swinatar forward, and in the process I'll mark it. And since I failed to move it, let's just weaken it to see if they could do less damage. Or have it completely resist the debuff. Okay, resist this. There. We even got a critical. Okay. to a killing blow. A critical weakened prey. And yep, pig spear. And unfortunately, nobody in this team knows when to duck. The good news is, the enemies being size 2, there's no way they can position themselves to be out of range. The bad news is, weakened prey reduce the highwayman's damage by a lot. Does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Weird reconstruction. We need it. Um, let me guess, Tentacle Devour deals extra damage to marked targets. Okay, we'll go with Clone Dagger because I forgot to equip him in the face. Yeah, I don't have. I can't afford to spend an action having the Occultist mark the targets and the Bounty Hunter has to do it. Everybody's just gonna kind of be comboing off the bounty hunter for this round. Really, for this whole mission, honestly. Well, there we go. A victory. Perhaps the turning point to collect. Okay, this is just a curio. And I can't afford much backtracking. Dagger deals 5 to 9, or gets a critical and deals 13. Weird reconstruction of the person with the fewest hit points. Sedated. Great shot blast will kill one of the core features. Collect bounty will kill the other. But we have to deal with one stressful incantation, which will lower the torch level. Unless it misses, because apparently if it misses, it doesn't lower the torch level. That's good to know. Got done with you hardly. Their now we're done. Broken. Maintain the offensive. And the scouting already confirmed that it wasn't a quest location. No scouting, so I'm gonna gamble that one of them is in this circular area. And we have hunger. And we have a completely different kind of shrine, just a pile of bones. Drop the extra stack of antivenom. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have any abilities that increase the torch level. And we're having terrible luck with scouting. Which isn't affected by, uh... Which isn't affected by the torch level. Yeah, nobody in this team has a light granting ability. And we have yet to find a single um, wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Okay, eat some extra. I'm just gonna eat the rest of this stack of food and then uh so that I can grab the sapphires. The sparkling eyes of youth twisted and made merciless. Wonderful, we have the collector. Okay, 
weak. Okay, vulnerability hack. Fortunately, we have a team that's pretty well suited to taking him on. Except for the fact that he's in position one right now. But collect bounty with a critical to do a lot. And even without a critical, he can use collect call, but that puts him within range of thrown dagger and pistol shot. Alright, we only need a little bit more. Let's see if we can take out the high level. Decimated. We can! Demons. Uh, I'm actually just going to use weakening curse. I want to stack up a little bit of damage. Blow. And yep, the low torch level gives us an elevated critical chance. As the ghoulish <laughs> the rats prepare to feast. Okay. Um, I'll drop the onyx to the trapeze of Edrin. Um, yeah. Okay, now we have scouting. And we confirm that there's nothing in this area. Okay, I'm gonna gamble that this. No. The darkness holds dominion. Black as death. Okay, I'm just gonna gamble that, um. Those sounds are really unsettling. I'm gonna gamble that this isn't a shambler. Oh, it's almost as bad. It's a ghoul and a corpse eater. Vulnerability X. And Masterfully just need a few executed. big. I don't even need another big critical. I just need the bounty hunter to hit. Well, the bigger the beast. So the critical is the very the much glory. welcome. And the good news is, Howl can't lower the torch level because he can't lower a torch level that's already zero. Bad news. Actually, there barely is any bad news. This thing is not really that durable. We do have to deal with one win. Alright. And we're pretty much done with it. This is. This isn't that bad. This expedition at least promises success. However, unless scouting confirms that there are no hallway battles here. You know what? I'm gonna take a risk. The chance of running into a shambler in a hallway battle is what, 5%? Okay, scouting would be greatly appreciated. But we don't have it. Well, we're gonna have to make camp. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Have a normal sized meal. Bandit sense, which prevents nighttime ambush and prevents us from being surprised. Other than that, um. I'm gonna go with planned takedown. And then we can just encourage the uh, occultist. Because he's getting a little nervous. And a little wound care on the bounty hunter to round things out. And there we go. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Now I need to find the quest location soon. We're on a bit of a ticking clock here. Well, there's already hex on this one. Kick to the face does more damage than this one. Ooh, crit to the face. Grape shot blast can damage the ones that are in stealth. And collect bounty can just eliminate the cutthroat. And that also means they're down to just using rush shot. Which doesn't do very much. But the bad news is, since all of the enemies are in stealth, there's not very much that we can do until they come out of stealth, like that. Okay, that's the As end the of him. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. And that rushed shot means that he's not in stealth anymore. And that's the Obliterated. end of him. 
A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Now, if we could find some of the shrines in the immediate future, that would be helpful. I mean, we've covered just short of half the map. It's possible that one of them is in this hallway. We just have all of them. Pick the face to do 6 to 19 versus 6 to 12. 6 to 13 versus 6 to 12. Let's go with pick to the face on the gladiator. Yeah, vulnerability hex on the Reaver. I can take him out with uh, Collect Bounty. Especially since he's classified as part human. I'm gonna go with the guaranteed kill against the Reaver. Continually onslaught. And Destroy I need a critical to kill him. And the real horror of the wards? Vomit. He vomits on you and the experience is so gross that it can cause you to vomit and seeing you vomit can cause your teammates to vomit in an event known as a vomit cascade. And more drums of doom. We're all about the doom. Alright, Grape Shot Blast can't kill all of them. Annihilated. There we go. Damn, I missed your eyes. Right. Vulnerability hex is a guarantee that he dies next turn. In the meantime, let's Rush just this make advantage. the chopper go. Give them away. no quarter. And there we go. Strike. This is without any abilities that have an extra critical chance against marked targets, too. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Are worth 1200 each, so I'll drop the 12. Yeah, rubies are worth 1250, so I can drop a stack of 1250 gold. Curio, 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 quest location, Curio. Right. Got the grave robber who's trap disarming. Gamble, there might be a torch in here. There isn't. We also have yet to scavenge a single torch. Okay, um, we're gonna be cutting this one a little close. We're gonna be cutting this one a lot close. Hopefully we don't end up fighting a Shambler again. Drone Dagger to begin taking well or complete taking out the Enchantress. Mark for death because of reasons protection. Yeah, I'm basically gonna have Russell take out the Corpse Eater by himself. In the meantime, we have more mobility now. Also, the battle music, I think, is different when the torch level's really low. Okay, the large Corpse Eater is all we have to deal with. It's a lot, but it's all we have to deal with. However, since it always uses Weakened Prey first, and it is marked, we can just not give it a second chance to attack. That probably should have been weird reconstruction, though, in hindsight. Not that Monster's that size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Let's go over to the key and see if we get anything helpful. Two onyxes. I'll drop 50 gold for that. Okay. Um. We need to find the remaining quest locations very soon. Like, I need scouting in the immediate future, and if... Okay, we found one. And there's the other. Okay. Decimate the shrine. Reduce the shrine by 10%. Reduce the last this shrine by 10%. In. And... the hearts of men. Let's get out of here. I'm not gambling on that last ha that last hallway on battle not right being a sham. Swine will grow ever more ignorant. You know, if such a thing were possible. In all seriousness, 
I think that might have actually been harder than the Darkest Dungeon mission where I forgot the torches. Because in that mission I at least had a Vestal with abilities that increase the torch level. In this mission I had nobody with abilities that increase the torch level, so it was just basically a time attack mission we need to get through as quickly as possible. Okay. Russell is irrepressible, that's useful. Being curious could be a bit of a problem, though. Moncel is an Eldritch hater, and it replaced Healer's Gift, which is good, because I believe Healer's Gift is literally useless for a highway. <laughs> and the Occultist is now a slugger. The and we have fresh air in the no tunnels. Longer exhale the toxic stench of degeneracy. Let's upgrade some folks. They are sorted by level. So, I believe Vilhardin and Eid are fully upgraded. Right. So the people I need to pay attention to are... Let's see. So of the people who, have, who are champion level who haven't been to the Darkest Dungeon, None of them is an occult, or er, who are level six and haven't been to the darkest dungeon. None of them is an occultist. Let's fully upgrade blogs a little, and let's pop over to the guild and upgrade some abilities. Okay, Russell is maxed out. Campion kind of is. The only thing I could upgrade is Demon's Pull, which is that's worth it. Laws Bavil, however, all of this stuff can be upgraded. So I'll upgrade that set. And to round things out, let's give Monsell some. Let's spend some money on Monsell. And that's probably enough spending for now, unless the Nomad Wagon has something really good. Which they don't this week. And it's time for another mission. Once more onto the breach. And... I can gather three grain sacks to get a bumper crop. However, I'm gonna rearrange my team composition. I'm gonna bring in Campion. Losbeville and Angsoth. Mar yep, I'm doing Marked for Death again. So, step one, unequip all trinkets and sort my class. Now let's equip everyone. Angsoth gets the Wrathful Bandana and the Fuseman's Matchstick. Campion gets the Evasion Incense and, uh, if I can find it, the Ancestor Scroll. Losbevil is the Hound ranged, the Hound is ranged. Gets... Losbeville gets the Ancestor's Candle. And... What else can I give him that would be good? The Legendary Bracer. And... Russell gets the Portrait again. Actually, he gets the Ancestor's Pen, and I'll give uh, Vol's Tassel to Lozbeville. Yep, once again, we're going for an all-damage team composition. Let's see if we can pull this off. Now, step one, I'm actually going to not forget the torches this time. Though, considering how much this team composition is about ending missions quickly, I suppose we could kind of get away with it. Anti-Venom and Bandages... A couple of keys, because those are always good. A little holy water for fundamentally the same reason. And food. Alright, and here we go.
Even the fiercest beast will lay down when it is not eaten. Steal their food. Okay, we're not going to do anything with the occult scrollings. Okay, I'd like to thank Darkest Dungeon for the small bit of mercy of confirming for me that there's nothing in this room so I don't have to explore it. have the calm before the storm as we have a couple of rooms and hallways of nothing before we finally get to our first fight. Let me quick make sure everybody's abilities are what they should be. That looks good. You can even reach them with sacrificial stab. Yep, that looks good. Yeah, the main goal of this is training up Russell because I'm going to need him for something. Let's remove the Slayer before it has a chance to uh, guard anyone. Like so. Okay, can she one-shot them? Not without a critical. So let's target. Let's target that. And for you, let's do the same thing with the other one, except it missed. Yeah, we have an ability that reduces the enemy's evasion. The issue is it needs to hit. I'm sensing a flaw in this plan. And more vomit. Rule number one of the Warrens, there is always more vomit. Great, and the Houndmaster has tetanus. See previous comments about the about ongoing vomit supplies. Wait, they're all faster than us, so they just got essentially two consecutive rounds because we surprised them. Well, that's yeah, the end of him. That's just gonna. Uh, I'm gonna go with sniper shot mode for a critical. And collect bounty might have one shot of the heaver if it had hit, but it didn't hit. And hounds rush with the lowest damage roll possible. Okay, let's just guarantee that the meat hooker dies the next time someone gets a shot off at him. And he's decided to get some revenge against our occultist for doing that to him. But it doesn't matter anyway. And we really need to reduce the evasion on that heaver. So it's our first battle and we already have two diseases. Welcome to the Warrens, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, he's finally done. Destroy them all. I'm gonna call that guy the Vector because he's spreading every kind of disease. Whoa. Cruel machinations spring to life with a singular purpose. Okay, so that's what Curiosity does. I'm probably gonna need to fix that. We have some scouting. Let's zoom out. Curio. Curio, but not a quest location. Curio, Curio, Curio. So all of the quest locations are somewhere in this area? These are curios, these are curios, these are curios. Curios, this is just a room battle. Okay! <laughs> Both of these missions, the quest locations have been weirdly concentrated in one area of the map. I mean, I'm not complaining. Combined with scouting, it actually makes things easier on us, but still. Ah, another one of the. Oh, and we have a swine skiver. Okay, 
let's start with the skiver has low protection so i don't need to worry about reducing his protection so i'll reduce the slayer's protection perfect i just got the best possible turn order reduce the meat hooker well he resisted the debuff but now i can do sniper shot against the meat hooker if that had been a critical he'd be dead if that had been a critical he would be dead Okay, not not the best luck, but things turned. I uh, got the perfect turn order. Oh, okay. This fight suddenly got challenged. Well, the move part of Ball and Chain was helpful. The stun part was very not helpful. All right. Um, which one of you has fewer hit? I'm gonna heal the gonna heal the bounty hunter so he doesn't die. And he's bleeding now. Hopefully he won't try to sue you for malpractice. And let's just use blackjack to get some stunning in or attempted stunning. Goring flight. At least he's moving away from us. That's helpful. Oh, that's not good. Reeling. About to break. Oh, right, that was just the round in which he's stunned. Apparently not stunned enough that he can't talk. Okay, and fortunately Russell dodged exactly the time that I needed him to dodge. Okay, I have a plan. Starts with target whistle on the skipper. I've got advantages. Collect bounty can reach the slayer. Confidence savages the slayer. as the enemy crumbles. Champion is at death's door, but I have bandages and weird reconstruction. And the most important death the most important healing roll that you've ever had, Campion, and you roll a six. But now that it's marked, the Arablest can take care of it. Maintain the offensive. Last throw of the dice. Right. Stick with blackjack for now. And as usual, keep patching up the people who are in the process. Ah, oh, great. You literally broke even for healing. I really should have gone for I really should have gone for battlefield bandage rather than sniper shot there. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Well, well, okay. We can finish the heaver off with blackjack. That's a step. Hope blossoms. Okay, what are the odds of sniper shot killing him? Um, at most, like twenty percent. Let's just go with healing then. Not giving up. All right, weird reconstruction. And tries to undo, and manages to undo to all of that with blow. one critical. Well, you can still reach him with come hither, if you hit. Okay, target whistle. And 13 to 30, so we can kill him because we can't seem to outheal his damage. This expedition at least promises success. Okay, um, yeah. Light up the firewood, we're making camp. Feast? Circling in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Before I forget to do so, let's do Hound's Watch. I don't have triage equipped. I'm gonna risk Dark Ritual. Actually, no, I'm not. Um, start with Therapy Dog, and then Wound Care. You can't use Wound Care on yourself. So let's do Field Dressing. And then... That's the best we can do, so let's just... Uh, Encourage the bounty hunter to keep him from becoming afflicted, and we're done. 
Okay, we're not in the As best the of way. As the purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Okay, we know where the quest locations are. I have a plan. So we're gonna take the long way around because I'm hoping that we get hungry a couple of times and have an opportunity to use that for healing. Actually, I can also just eat food right now. Not interacting with that curio. Alright, so. And we have our first quest location. Light up a torch. And I'm actually gonna go through this way now. But we've managed to avoid a. Uh, ow! We didn't Ambushed manage to avoid the trap, invention. but we managed to avoid a hallway battle. Whereas now we have. Second quest location. Glittering and we gold, have whatever's in this room. And baubles, Spirits command me to do blood. this. Scrawlings forever change the hero. You know, 15% move resistance on, on Aura Blessed is pretty good. Okay, this is not that bad of a uh, team to have to fight. Target whistle on this one. Probably should have target whistled the other one, actually. Definitely should have target whistled the other one. And finally, we did a good roll for weird reconstruction. And there we go. All we need is one fight that goes well and we can heal everybody. Of course, Blanket Fire is trying very hard to turn this into a fight that goes poorly. He's done being in stealth. And now he's Mark. And now the cut throws down to two hit points. And now the hunter is gone. Slice of dice. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Slice of dice does a lot of damage. Um you heal the guy who's farther forward on the ground that he takes more damage. Press okay. disadvantage. Give them the end no of that. I don't need another Tome of Holy Healing. And I don't need heirlooms either. Okay, we need to make it past one trap and we're good. Get disarmed. Inspect the pile of bones. Find some emerald. And we got it. Let's drop the torches. And let's just get out of here before this manages to go horribly wrong. These foodstuffs yield double benefit. The town may eat, and the swine will not. Oh, the guardian's shield. I didn't even think about what the uh Trinket reward was. That's an interesting thing. So the idea is he can use Bellow, Bolster, Defender, and one of his other abilities, but he's very durable, so he basically just becomes a meat shield that he can't attack or stun. Ho oh. ho. And everyone is now level uh, six. And considering how much Russell was talking about this being at death's door being one last throw of the dice, I suppose it's appropriate that he became a skilled gambler. He's gambled with death, now he can handle gambling with money. Alright. We have some diseases we need to treat, though, and some stress. A modest offering from those few surrounding farms as yet untouched by the spreading calamity. Right. Spotted fever or rabies? I'll treat the spotted fever. And... Losbaville, let's get rid of his tetanus. And the people who needed stress treatment are currently receiving disease treatment, so I don't need to worry about that. Alright. Campion is maxed out. And Scott isn't. 
let's do that. But let's see, Vilhardin and Eid. So Vilhardin Eid is the one I want to use, so let's see if there are any. Uh, she has triage. Three string crossbow. Yeah, I like her camping skills. Let's see, Russell is busy. Can't be unusual. Uh, occultists generally don't have any good camping skills. So. And Blasbaville is occupied. Let's look at treating some quirks. Can't be on have any negative quirks that are likely to cause real trouble. Um. His quirks don't matter a whole lot in either direction. Ides satanophobia could be an issue, but honestly, it's not really that bad. So, in that case, let's focus on some other people. So, about Corbier, he's fully upgraded, and these people who are all level one are probably are probably as upgraded as they. Actually, I don't know. Maybe they can get up. Yeah, Evelyn can be upgraded. Bonath probably. Nope, I maxed him out already. I have two guys named Bonath. You see. And let's let's but yeah, let's spend some money on the noobs. Let's upgrade some of their abilities too. At the uh, oddly terrifying guild. That should be enough gold spent for now. And what to do next? So, well, Russell and uh, Blasbaville are getting treated. Let's see what the Nomad Wagon has. And while we're at it, we have this odd divide where we have really experienced people and people who are not experienced at all. So we should probably train up some of the noobs, which means visiting the cove. So I can get either the Virtuous Chalice, which is increased virtue chance, or a Tome of Holy Healing, and do either a short or a long mission. I'm gonna do a short mission. So let's get Busey, Evik, Boneth, and... Wait a second. Boneth can comfortably attack from position 3. I'll bring Boneth and Boneth. That's not going to be confusing at all. I'll equip all items. Sort by class. Tome of Holy Healing and uh, Sacred Scroll for you. Um, my apprentice bounty hunter. He gets the ancestor's pen and. Uh, So the other question is, who should get the, uh... I'm actually going to give the portrait to the Vestal. She's the one who's the least experienced. Let's see, for the Crusader. I'll give him the Ancestor's Candle. And the Ancestor's Signet Ring. And for Hellion... I'll give her Heaven's Hairpin. And... The, uh, let's see, what else can I get here? Hmm. I'll go for the tentacle idol. It's not really the best for her, but I don't really have any better ideas. Actually, hold on a second. I'll give our... The bounty hunter can... I, I was about to send the bounty hunter in with only one trinket. The bounty hunter gets Wolf's Tassel. That just... Alright, so... Just Heaven's Hairpin. What's a good... You know what? I'll just give her the Ancestor's Map. The extra scouting could be useful. And we 
definitely don't want you to have breakthrough. We want you to have Iron Swan, Wicked Hack, if it bleeds, and Adrenaline Rush. Alright. Let's well, let's go for that. Let's do this. Let's see how this mission goes. Mainly because we need to wait for the other people to finish recovering. Well, food to be plenty. A couple of shovels. Plenty of torches. Plenty of medicinal herbs. Plenty of keys. Plenty of holy water. And no point in not maxing out the anti-venom and the bandages, since we don't have to pay for it. And here we go. These salt-soaked caverns are teeming Ooh, with this is easy. nightmares. This is nothing. They must be flushed out. This really is a noob mission. I swear, it's like the other heroes set this up. Like, they cleared out an area of the... They cleared out an area of the cove and then set up this, like, really linear path for the new heroes to go through. And largely meaningless scouting. Pack has a map inside, but we already had a map. We had the Ancestor's map. Well, I suppose things have probably changed since he made that map. Right, one more hit to get rid of the thrall. Like so. Annihilated. To dazzle the Guardian. And... There we go. Only one of them gets an action, and half of them are dead. This is actually marked for death mainly to reduce protection. Though it, may, it will make collect bounty deal extra damage. And I accidentally clicked on the corpse instead of the enemy. Now we really need to get rid of the Guardian. And there we go. Continue the onslaught. And he's killing the Destroy enemy with words. Them all. Though if you rearrange the letters in words, you get swords, so I suppose it's appropriate that the Crusader's words are a sword. Another mariner, another misfortune. So did you cause this misfortune too, or is it just the one that became the sodden crew that you caused, Ancestor? In Radiance, may we find victory. In Radiance, may we find jellyfish. Executed with impunity. Right, this is the grouper. Elegy groupie. And... Even with elevated bleeding resistance, that's still connected. Unfortunately, it's not very As much bleeding. the light bleeding. gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. If we can do two more damage, we're good. Okay, that does it. And he's stunned, too. For death by inches. That is the power of teamwork. Even though this isn't really the best team composition. Like, this is not a team that combos very well. This is kind of the opposite of Marked for Death, which is a team composition that's all about having your different heroes combo with each other. This is a team composition where the heroes are all pretty much independent of each other in terms of how they operate. The blood Honestly, quickens. I couldn't get away with this composition on a higher difficulty mission. I also couldn't get away with having forgotten to equip the correct abilities in the Vestal. I so rarely change the Vestal's ability set that I forget to check if a new Vestal has the right abilities equipped. Bare Knuckle Barrier. And Barnacle Barrier wound up not mattering. Who would have guessed? The offensive. 
And they really want to pull the Vestal forward. Well, I suppose I can't blame them. It's a good strategy. Rest this advantage. Give them no quarter. Oh. And the first time Busey attempts to heal something, she gets a critical. She's gonna go for it. One more if it bleeds should do the job. However, if I can pull it within the range of wicked hack, all the better. And there we go. This expedition at least promises success. Alright, let me just fix your ability set a little bit. There we go. That's the proper ability set for a Vestal that's in position four. Wait, did I just get the same scouting again? Did I just get scouting that only told me Before things I already knew? Waiting to be spent. Ah, loot. Unfortunately, the last room probably has a room battle, though that's not really much of a problem. I suppose it's appropriate for this training exercise that they'd make sure that there are some enemies in the farthest out room to remind them that they actually have to go all the way to the end before they can say that they're done. Alright. Disarm. Play the torch. And another crate. With more heirlooms. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Though there is a chance that we run into a collector again. And honestly, I wouldn't mind. I can use the extra money. And now that I've said that, we will definitely run into the collector. Okay, so... Whoa. How quickly the tide turns. Eradicated. There's at least one of them gone. And let's make that confidence clear. surges as the enemy crumbles. Brings him within range of smite. Destroyed. And As the let's let the Vestal falls, finish off the last the one. Faint hope blossoms. And that's it. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's return to the Hamlet. The pungent odor abates. The things are driven back for a time. Yeah, just keep telling the noobs that. Just keep telling them that that was a really important mission that absolutely had to be completed. They'll feel better about their training that way. And they're all still novices. Hey, Bonath is afraid of humans. That could be a problem. Clutch hitter, that could be pretty good. Exquisite example of craftsmanship and futility. Oh, so we get a free armor upgrade for somebody. I think I know who's getting that. And that is Ansgoth, because I already fully upgraded her weapon to Millicent. So, we may as well use the free armor upgrade on the most expensive kind of armor upgrade. And the other thing we need to do is... Losbeville and Russell both need some stress treatment. Anyway, this isn't the end of the episode, but I am going to quit get us a fresh recording file. I will be back in a moment. I was lord of this place before the crows and rats made it their domain. 
Okay, I am back. I got a lovely fresh recording file. And... Let's see, is there any aspect of Ide's kit that isn't fully upgraded? Only blind fire, which I don't really need to upgrade. I can't do anything with Russell right now. Um, Campion's the other one I can work on. And he's good. And Corbier could use some improvement, though. And what about the newbies? Boneth is good. Evik could be upgraded though. Boneth is good, and Boneth is also good. I'm actually going to hold on to the rest of my gold for a little while. So, then we can find another short mission. And I'm actually going to stick with this team and just send them on another short mission and keep them equipped the same way. See if we can get them a bit more experience. There is method to my madness, it will become clear in a moment. A moment. A moment. Anyway, for now, gotta stock up on supplies. I don't need that much food for a short mission. I'm so used to doing the long and medium missions that I always stock up on food. Plenty of shovels, plenty of antivenom, some medicinal herbs, and we always want keys and holy water. Alright, I'd say we're provisioned. What you got for us? Paths are littered with poisonous traps. So how does this differ from everywhere else? Well, I suppose the fact that they're I poisonous I knew all these traps. paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. I don't know, that's pretty twisted. I gotta appreciate the self-awareness of the ancestor using him, himself Waiting as an insult. Spent. Need to go all the way through here. And we Nature have our first herself, thicket. A victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Yeah. That really is a bad sign. Just the, 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 the nature itself is being warped by all of this. This is, um... This is starting, you know, this is starting to make me a little nervous. Like, maybe we're dealing with something we might not be able to handle. Right through here. And... On the other hand, so far we're apparently just doing a good standard nothing inspection. Which is an important part of the career of any hero, so it's appropriate that these guys get a good opportunity to get some experience in nothing inspection, because nothing inspecting is more challenging than you think. You gotta properly catalog the nothing and make sure that you put it into the right class of nothing. You know, is this, like, no ominous looking nothing? Is this perfectly safe nothing? Is this, um appears to be nothing, but is actually something if you look closely. You know, there are many different shades of nothing. And now we're finally done with the nothing, and it's time for some violence. As the light Swan. gains purchase, and there we go. That purpose is made clear. We have to do a stressful incantation, but fortunately we have torches. Judgment should finish this battle. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay, Boneth was unable to kill a cultist gladiator. Let's see if Boneth can. Destroyed. He can! Now he's going to deal with the accolade in position 3. You know, I'd tell the cultists to run, but frankly, it's not really surprising that the cultists will fight to the death. I mean, they're, they're supposed to be crazy. It's the bandits being willing to stand their ground and fight to the last man that's really strange. Okay, and... 
and an and inspiring crowd. And there we death go. By inches. Sure it wasn't a death by centimeters? You know, those can be hard to tell apart. They have 33% protection. Mark for death will reduce their protection. Let's try that. The marking effect itself isn't that helpful, but the reduced protection could be. Judgment will only do 2 to 5. Let's sort of stun the acolyte then. I believe Stressful Incantation can mark targets, but I'm not sure. Continually yes, after all this time, I'm still not sure. But, as long as they don't have a marked target, all they can do is grope and swipe. Well, I suppose I'm about to find out. Nope, it does not mark targets. Honestly, marked for death didn't accelerate the killing process by comparison to just using collect bounty. Smite. And just barely missed the mark. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Now let's bring her within range of the attack and smite. And there she goes. Obliterated. A full pack often attracts unwanted attention. Is that you attempting to warn me about the collector? Because I don't think it. Unbalanced. We're 76 episodes into this project. I don't think we've heard that line before. In radiance, off may we find victory. Attracts unwanted attention. I can't recall ever hearing that line before. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. And there we go. Yeah, the thing about these groups is they're not really dangerous except for their high evasion. This expedition. If we can hit them, they go down pretty easy. Yeah, this expedition promises success. Ah, uh, oh, damn it. Yeah, that's another. Uh, you already have a quirk I need to get rid of. Darn it, quirk treatments are expensive. Fortunately, the short mission is definitely living up to its name. And. Okay. How did you get syphilis from that? How, how, never mind, never mind. I don't want to know. I. I really, I, in fact, I'm ordering you not to tell me how you managed to contract syphilis from an ancient idol. And last room, and without scouting, there's no meaningful difference between the two ways we could go. Okay, that isn't a problem, because a it just means that we get the loot. For a task well performed. But dark temptation is a bit of a problem. We need to get rid of that, especially since it really should be an occultist that has that quirk. It's really thematically inappropriate for the Vestal to be the one. Wait, there was one room battle? One room battle and two hallway battles, and that was all we had to inspect. Every cleared path and charted route reduces the isolation of our troubled estate. Well, that's good, I guess. How much, how much cold hard cash do we get from this? That's fairly respectable. Nine grand. And they got a little bit of experience. Ooh, Avik is tough. That's good. So Bonneth is sickly and fragile. All my life I could feel an insistent gnawing in the back of my mind. It was a yearning, a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. And Blasbaville is apparently still busy with, uh... Actually, that would be... Yeah, he refuses to stop flagellating. Alright, let me see something. Sort by class. 
So excluding these four, where are my hound masters? Alright. Let me see about this. Actually don't have enough money to do that. Um Okay, so I was hoping to do I was hoping to go on another mission using, uh... I was hoping to go on... I had a specific plan for what I wanted to do for the next mission, but the issue is Blasbaville isn't available, which means I can't do it. So... Let's spend another... Let's just burn another week training the noobs. Which means going for another short mission. Yeah, I'm just gonna... What is, uh... What does Syphilis do? Accuracy, damage, and max HP. Honestly, for a short mission, we can live with that. Right. Two shovels. A little anti-venom and a few bandages. Actually, wait a second. We're going to the ruins, aren't we? Yeah, we don't need uh, medicinal herbs for that. A couple anti-venom in case of spiders. A couple bandages. Some keys. A little extra holy water, a little food, and some torches. That should take care of it. Okay, yeah, we're funding this mission on the cheap a little bit. If you live for risk and darkness, by all means, bring few torches. You know, there are moments when it feels like the game is making fun of you, and this is one. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Got another scouting now, mission. Now, Boren. And through here. I don't know what to do with the Iron Maiden, so I'm gonna not do anything with it. And spiders! Right, Back that's one. To the pit. Now let's see if we can stun this one. We cannot. And that's two. Executed with impunity. And now they're down to... They've lost the ones that inflict the marks, so they can't combo anymore. Another and that's one three. Falls. And another one gone, and another one gone. Another one fights. Another abomination dust. cleansed from our lands. Okay, cultists and skeletons. Decent chance of one-shotting the brother. Yes, amazing. Especially if he gets a critical hit. Alright, Smite could one-shot that, but it's not guaranteed. Judgment does not do extra damage to Unholy. In that case, let's have her just try to stun the Acolyte and fail. The light, the promise of safety. And the Hellion's like, stand back, I'll show you how to kill something. And the Acolyte really does not want to be standing next to a Hellion. Smite the Arablest, because he's unholy. Really glad I brought the Crusader here. And there we go. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Alright. And more skeletons. Perfect for smiting. No. Just come hither. And fail. Such that didn't fail, though. Cannot be left unanswered. Unfortunately, the best answer we can come up with is please don't. Be gone, fiend. Okay. Feel soothed, sedated, and smite. There, this time we got a good damage roll on smite. Let's try come hither again. There we go. That's what you're supposed to do when I hit you with my hooks, my uh, hook chain. Destroy them 
And we have another curio to investigate. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not falling for that this time. After what happened last time, I'm not falling for it again. You're gonna have to wait at least a couple more missions before I fall for that. Again, no interactions as far as I know. And our first hunger. Okay, so we need to explore both of these dead end rooms. It's gonna eat up a little bit of time and thus a little bit of torches, but not very much. I haven't really thought about the fact that the torch sconces seem to show up more often in some areas than others. Once again, I want to use Come Hither. Because the rabble are almost are pretty much not a threat, but I need the Aura Blast in within range. There we go. Okay, Smite isn't going to kill him. That could stun him. And it did! And his move resistance is 10%, which means I believe Come Hither had a 100% chance Confidence of moving. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. And the damage stone. That would actually probably be pretty good on the Crusader. Though we have better plus damage trinkets at this point. Kevin, this looks like a damage stone. If I were to come up with a name for something, for, come up with an appearance for something called a damage stone, this is what I would go with. Though, I'll admit, at first, when I looked at that, I thought it was another one of the dice items for the Jester. Okay. And it's oddly zoomed in on one very small part of the map. Light As the, the light torch. gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. One more curio, and then that's about it, except for whatever's in this hallway. I think we aren't carrying enough stuff to have a chance to encounter the, uh... You know what? What happens if I use a key? Nothing. Alright. Oh! Medicinal herbs. Not that it got us anything useful, but so there is a curio interaction with medicinal herbs in the ruins. I forgot about that. I don't think we're even carrying enough stuff for the collector to show up, though I kind of wouldn't mind. No and we force ran out of, of will food. can overcome a failing body. Well, possibly. I guess we're about to find out. But that's the end of that mission. Got a little, uh, little uncomfortably close to the edge there, and these guys are going to need some stress treatment. The shifted corridors and sloped walls of our ancestry are beginning to feel familiar. Though, given how much things seem to rearrange, it seems like we're engaging in Sisyphean cartography. Right. Evek has reduced armor. Uh, wait, does Bonath have increased virtue chance and decreased virtue chance, or is that the other bounty hunter that has increased virtue chance? Um. In time, you will know the tragic extent of I'm my failings. I'm gonna check that now. Um. No, Bonath is not the one with increased virtue chance. That's, um, where is he? Russell. Yeah, Russell is irrepressible. For a second I thought I had irrepressible and, um... For a second I thought he had, I had the same character having irrepressible and, uh... Where is Blow Smith Bill? Okay, his equipment is fully upgraded. How about his abilities? Good enough. And I'm actually going to hold on to uh, all of our gold because we're going to need it for what I'm about to do next. I'm not even doing stress treatment this mission. This week. You see... I have a fairly specific plan... So we're bringing Eid, Losbeville, Campion, and Russell to the Darkest Dungeon. Yes, really. The plan is, I'm going to, uh, 
Okay, unequip all, unequip all trinkets first, and then sort by class. The plan is, dealing with the cysts is basically just a damage race. So... I'm actually going to go with the Medic's Greaves for the Arabless, because we're going to need the extra healing. And then, uh... So... I'll give her the Fuseman's Matchstick. Our Occultist is going to be our main healer, so he gets the Ancestor's Scroll, and... We're going to deal with a lot of Eldritch in there, so Eldritch Killing Incense is probably the best bet for him. Now, you get the Ancestor's Candle. And the Spiked Collar. And the Bounty Hunter gets Wolf's Tassel, which is especially the extra critical chance against size 2, and the Ancestor's Pen. Yeah, I have a plan. Okay, so you, these are the abilities I want you to have. Hound's Rush, Target Whistle, Cry Havoc, and Blackjack. He needs to be repositioned to use Cry Havoc, but I can do that. Weird Reconstruction can be used in it. All of... In, with the exception of being in position 4, Campion can use all of these abilities in any position. Ide also has Rallying Flare, and when the enemies are... When there isn't an enemy that she can reach with Sniper Shot, I'll just have her use Battlefield Bandage. I can't believe I'm doing this. This clearly is madness, but I'm going to try it. So there isn't as much bleeding, there's a lot more blight. Though I do need some insurance against the bleeding caused by weird reconstruction. Need to bring plenty of torches. Definitely need to bring plenty of food. Let's bring three stacks, that should be enough. And... Let's bring three full stacks of torches, that still leaves me enough money to provision another mission to get more supplies. And let's bring a little more anti-venom. Okay. I have the provisions to make this a long... To, to hold out for a long time, but that's not the plan. The plan is to get the in and out fast. The stone holds a but an antechamber. The creature is vast beyond measure and must be battled from within. That's Step terrifying. over the threshold. And let the terrible truth worm its way into your mind. Alright, we are performing what is known in military parlance as a surgical strike. The gateless gate. A maddening aperture to realms beyond human understanding. So... I don't remember exact, the exact details, but I have a pretty good idea of where the core is. We want to go essentially diagonally downward. So this is the upper... Seeing this as the upper left corner, the goal is to get to the center. And the reason for this team is fairly simple. I can get through this mission relatively quickly if we don't get teleported. And so I've brought a team that's just built around killing the cysts as quickly as possible so that we don't get teleported. Let's go with this one so whoever gets to go first gets can take advantage of it. Unfortunately, there will be wailing and gnashing of teeth in the meantime. And now that the front one is marked, I can also mark the... Uh, now that the middle one is marked, I can also mark the front one. You take out the one closer to you, and that critical was actually bad. However, I can use Sniper's Mark on the other one. Okay, so we have to deal with two Nashings, though, which means a total of three, actually, but... You know, props to Russell. He's only recently made champion, but he's already doing pretty well. He managed to dodge two out of three. Rush. Hounds miss, as we so often see. Okay. 
Let's see if I can finish that off with sac- Wow. With the Eldritch Killing Instance, Sacrificial Stab does a lot. The enemy and... Again... I act- I get a critical when I kind of don't want one. That's gonna be the real star of this episode, unwanted criticals. Right, well, let's go with vulnerability hex. Once, the one time the corpses are helpful and we end up losing them. Though it's really just because of the increased critical chance against Mark. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. All right. And through here. Like I said, I don't perfectly remember the layout, but I have a decent memory of the layout. And if we can just get through this fast, the fact that the team is somewhat fragile won't be a big deal. Okay. I'm gonna go right here. And then I'm gonna go down more. And we found our first assist. I believe this is not one that we fought before. Light up a torch. Protection is only 25%. Vulnerability hex. Hounds rush. Digest. I know that causes blight. And collect bounty. Okay, without critical, we can have some issues, but. 8 to. Okay, that's. That's not good. The longer that thing lives, the greater chance it uses teleport, and we really want to keep that from happening. Well... Every member of this team has the ability to mark targets. For you, collect bounty on this. Even without a critical, we're going through the system. Well, that was unlucky. Um... I didn't expect it to... I didn't expect it to teleport us on its second action. Start by marking both targets so we can kill them quickly. Which means this, this should be the last round of this fight. Which is actually kind of a problem because our health is a little... Everybody's health is a little low. Well. Okay, that's the end of one. Okay. So there's gonna be another round. Alright, we're reconstruction. Yeah, let's go with this. A momentary abatement. And this flesh hound just refuses to give up. A little flesh hound that could. Give them no quarter. Okay. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the and We're mud. in a different place than we were. Teleporting is the real problem. I, didn't, I think we got a little bit unlucky with it doing it that early, though. But we can still make it through this. Okay, this is more the way I want to go. Also, somebody mentioned in the comments that apparently the cysts do not regain health between our fights with them. Bounty, and it managed to miss. However, I'm going to have you guys concentrate on the white cell stock. Right, it can heal itself, I forgot. There's going to be a challenge to balance keeping us healed and also uh, damaging this thing. I underestimated the sheer damage potential of digestion. Alright. Okay, that's the end of him. Right. Campion, he's anti venom, and weird reconstruction. Four. Lovely. Okay, collect bounty. Right. And yeah, it always uses summon if there is a uh, if there is not a white cell stock. You're gonna need to focus on healing. 
And the the occultist has been shown up by an aura blast when it comes to healing. That isn't really supposed to happen. Alright. Hound's Rush will not kill it without a critical, so I'm just gonna use Target Whistle. So you will use Mark for Death on that. Nice if you could resist that. Good. And... Come on. Right, weird reconstruction on the guy in the front. Can we outheal digestion? It is not clear. Wait, no, we actually can. Test. Hold fast. Or expire. Okay. Oh, come on. Impressive. Russell, on the other hand, is doing his job very, very well. And it's healing itself instead of the, uh... It's healing itself instead of the cyst, which is good. Let's then use the antivenom. We want to prevent teleport. Decimated. And we have prevented teleport, at least for one more round. It lights for a lot. Alright, target whistle. And it will have to use summon as one of its next two actions. A decisive <laughs> pummeling. Big critical. A bit of luck and we can kill this thing before anything else happens. And there we go. Victory. Perhaps the turning point. But that doesn't remove the white cell stock, we actually have to kill it. Well, the good aspect of that is it gives us a bit of time to get some healing done. Also, Inspiration and improve. As much stress damage as I have taken over the course of this fight, and over the course of this mission, my teammates have taken relatively, uh, heroes have taken relatively little. And so, let's at least appreciate the one thing that is definitely going well. As the fiend falls, okay. a faint hope blossoms. That was actually the first time I've successfully killed a cyst. It's not coming back either. Okay, antibodies and polyps. Um, right. How are we gonna do this? Right, um, I have an idea. I'll start by target whistling that. You can move forward too, so you can spend a turn getting back into formation. But, even with a mark, I don't think Ide is going to one-shot the antibody, but she can one-shot the polyp. She didn't, but she theoretically could have. And it's just vanish again. But Russell... Russell's a little more nimble than he was last turn. 9 to 18. Not that much chance to hit. Um, I'm just gonna mark the antibody. And more banishing. It's a bit less destructive this time. 71 ch chance to hit, but we can at least destroy. Okay, we're rid of one of them. That's that's progress. It's one fewer enemies. Okay, that ne that would have needed to be a critical to one shot, so she did about as well as was plausible. Though 41% chance to critical, you won't, you'll forgive me for hoping for criticals. Now the two front runners are both stunned, which also means that the antibody gets to go before anyone has a chance to do anything about it. Teetering on the brink, facing More the death abyss. Door. Wonderful. Alright, 
We absolutely need weird reconstruction. And we got a big weird reconstruction. That's good. But we need to get rid of the antibodies. And only one... <laughs> so over the course of that round, only one of us got an action. Because of the stun... That's what I mean about the antibodies needing to die. Stunning secretion is a big problem. Fortunately, it's at least halfway Maintain solved the now. Offensive. All right. Weird reconstruction on yourself. All right. So you can at least get back. I can at least get back into formation in one. And Stunning Secretion finally managed to miss. Alright, Target Whistle also reduces the target's evasion. That is good. Right. Who has the fewest hit points by raw number? The cultist himself does. Alright. Alright, even with the reduced evasion, it still didn't manage to uh, hit. May as well get rid of the polyp, though. I want to get rid of the antibody more. Vanish can cause problems, but sunny secretion is worse. Well, let's see if we can prevent it from doing that this turn, at least. No, we cannot. Apparently, we don't stun him. He only stuns us. Those are the rules. Fortunately, Russell is relatively shuffle-resistant. And now it's time for some battlefield bandages. Violent hack. I'm gonna be honest, that hack was pretty weird. Surgical precision. Blackjack. Can't afford to let this thing exist for too much longer. But this could be an opportunity to get everybody's health all the way back to full. Or at least very close to full. Close the enough. Round quakes. Remind yourself that overconfidence right. is a slow and insidious this killer. This is the way that we want to go. I, I'd say there's at least a 50% chance of there being a pol or a uh, whatever the huge growths are here. But it seems not. It seems I was wrong. It is at least theoretically possible to finish this mission only actually killing one of the malignant cysts. Alright. 24 healing without a critical. Alright, the hounds are the real problem. The polyps are inconvenient, but that's really all they are. To the point where I'm actually going to have eyed heal. Precision and power. Especially since, frankly, uh, we keep getting critical hits and it keeps removing the front row so that I can't hit the thing that was supposed Mortality to be the target. clarified in a single strike. I'm actually just gonna go for Black Bounty on this one. And then Sacrificial Stab. And then Blackjack. And then it's dead. It's a bit of an odd combo, but it worked. And I think I underestimated Battlefield Bit. It's pretty consistently healing for six, though having a trinket helps with that. Alright. Hoo hoo! And Campion has finally hit his stride, getting the healing numbers that we really need to see. Meanwhile, Russell just continues to do his thing. And. I have to credit the mental fortitude Success of this entire so team. In view. They're inside the body of a flesh monster. A trick of the light? Fighting, like, giant malignant cyst creatures. I think this is the way we want to go. Fighting giant malignant cyst creatures being magically teleported. And they... And yet, 
everybody's stress is below 20. They're doing a really good job of holding themselves together. Just hats off to you guys for your mental fortitude through this situation. I think there's going to be a cyst in the middle of this hallway because I'm fairly certain this is the hallway where we encountered a cyst last time. Oh no! A Templar Sniper! Well, he only has about 100 hit points. You know you're in the end game when you find yourself saying he, saying only 100 hit points. Vulnerability Hex reduces his dodge. Let's see if we can make that stick. And combine that with Sniper Shot, so it's 40% chance to mark. And we didn't manage to completely... Per we didn't manage to kill him in one round, but we did a lot. Unfortunately, Torment also did a lot. Well, Hound's Rush does what it usually does. And Weird Reconstruction continues to be the wild card that it always is. Okay. I can't really afford to let him take another action. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. You know, I'm gonna go with getting the Hound Master off of Death's Door as a higher priority than killing the enemy. <laughs> And again, the occultist is out healed by the Arablest. Okay, just a little bit more damage, but we have to do a torment again. Because we've gotten some really unfortunate accuracy and damage rolls. Okay. Champion falls. That's the end of him, and we're gonna need to make this camp expedition very at least soon. Promises success. Or we just found the Locust Beacon, and we're not really in a condition to take it on, but I'm gonna have to find a way to make that happen. Okay, step one, get some healing in. Critical healing, even. The good news is we have officially located the Locust Beacon. Right. Weird Reconstruction combined with the buff to healing received. Okay, now we can mark that. After all the effort that it took to get here, I do not want to be hit by teleport. Alright. Take a dog treat. Which increases damage and accuracy. Still only 79% chance to hit. But now it will probably heal itself. Actually, no, it will die next turn because it's bleeding. Which is even better because that delays the mammoth cyst using summon Slowly. a little bit. Gently. This Mark is for death. How life is taken. And now we just wail on the cyst for a round. Except for... Except for Campion, who is the main healer. Is it going to use summon as its second action? I thought it always summoned as its first action. Well... <laughs> Gotta love those 40 damage criticals. It still has not summoned. We're on a we're on a roll. This is. I apologize for anything, any comments I made in this episode about bad luck. This thing choosing not to summon when it could have summoned is the best thing I could possibly have hoped for. That devastating blow. There's really no way that this could have gone better than that. Prodigious and there we go. Does not dissuade the sharp Using blade. only a tiny portion of the resources that we brought. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. We did it. This must be it. The beginning of the end. I I'm a little surprised that worked, but it worked. Like I said going in, the this is this is the kind of plan that's gonna go either very well or very badly. We also got 15,000 gold. Greases palms, build empires, and instigates murder. And we got a decent portion of our investment back because of all the money we did, all the resources we didn't end up needing. And we got it. That leaves just one more expedition to the Darkest Dungeon and numerous new quirks. Photomania, that's good. Lurker is not really so good. 
Tipler. It's a negative quirk, but a pretty minor one. We have a Stress Faster, which is helpful. And Eid has a Spasm of the Entrails. At last, the twisted heart of the world is laid bare. For sword or supplication. Again? Again? We have another person who can come back from the dead. Wow. Um, I know that the level zero bounty hunter... Wait, I don't need to dismiss anyone. We have... Hmm. Who to bring? Definitely not... Who to bring? Honestly, I'm gonna bring Clara... I'm gonna bring back Cardinal. Cardinal is the one is a champion level Vestal, which means and she hasn't been to the darkest dungeon yet, which means that she can go to the darkest dungeon again. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. So she will need to be retrained and also have her disease treated. Gonna quick treat some diseases. I <laughs> just gotta bask in the glow of that plan actually having worked. Like that's overshadowing even the fact that I got um, from beyond again. Just, I just gotta bask in the glow of that for a moment. Of course, considering the blacked out sun and the general red glow surrounding everything, I get the feeling that what we accomplished may not have been a good thing. Anyway, with the penultimate mission to the darkest dungeon completed, that is finally going to be the end for this episode. Thank you all for watching. I love you all, and I will see you next time.